part of the Can conversation. I well, don't think uh, hang on. Against the Redwood <laughs> plan involves going back to the arrangement introduced by the last Labour government. I'm not sure reinventing the wheel is the best way forward. I think the wheel is a very good way forward. Um, <laughs> round wheels do work extremely well, and I recommend them strongly. <laughs> right, but you're not in rebellion. Um, what do you make of the coalition that you discovered when you came back from America? Uh, that you appeared not to have heard about <laughs> it until you got I home. I think it is one of the most ludicrous things I've ever, I've ever witnessed. I really do. I just don't understand how we're just accepting this. And you all seem so desperately uncomfortable with each other. And you're all beginning to fall out yeah. after, what, two weeks? Uh, I personally, <laughs> I would give it till Christmas. Seriously, I mean, we have to go back to the polls. There has to be another election. There has to be clarity here. You cannot have two... I mean, the idea that Liberal Democrat voters thought they were going to get John Redwood as their voice of reason... I mean, this is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Um, really? <laughs> you say in the pink shirt. I think it's important that there is real dialogue, take, because otherwise <coughs> we just have a rubber stamp. Yeah. And I think we're talking about new politics, and in reality... You know, we're talking interest in career politicians, we're interested in real dialogue, and mm. backbenchers need to have an important say, I feel. Okay. Susan Kramer, watching it as a defeated MP for the Liberal Democrats... <laughs> you must rub this in, must Well, you? it's just so people, you know, people may think you still are in the House. You should have won. First time you've been in for, for, for in, on the programme since the election. Um, go on, what do you think? I, I, no, I, I, derailed? I, I, why, why are you confident sitting next to John Redwood? <laughs> Well, I've always Are been comfortable, comfortable sitting next to John Redwood. We've been reading on numerous things. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, no, I mean, it is something of a camel, but camels get very successfully through the desert. And it seems to me that, you know, the, the challenge of the deficit is one that has forced people to focus on the absolute priorities, which are getting the deficit down. It's forced two parties who wouldn't naturally have seen themselves as allies to sit down and, com and see if they can come together with a common programme, and I think they've done it extraordinarily successfully, and it reflects priorities from both parties. And it seems to be we it it's moving forward rather well, and at least on the Lib Dem side, that's uh, you know, extensive conversation with backbenchers. I would assume the same thing happening on the Conservative side. And when I talk to people in my constituency, I mean, the number of them who've said, oh, if we'd only known it this outcome, we'd have voted for you. You know, so that's, uh, I, I find that, uh, that actually people really want this to actually work. I mean, they're saying politicians need to sit down and work together, forget sort of party shibboleths, and try and find an effective way forward, mm. and it is happening. And I think, yes, but with the greatest of respect to this wonderful loving, well. you've already, within two weeks, had Mr. Redwood, who has speared the number one Liberal Democrat policy well, right in your back. Oh, you're going back to being the member of the press, always trying to find trouble, because I think there I'm will not be to a find trouble. He's causing trouble. I'm, I'm trying to meet their aim. You lost by the way, the capital Look. gains tax. He says it's nonsense. No, we can't. Uh, 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 Ming, 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 Ming Campbell has said he'll vote against tuition fees going up. Well, that's Ming, happens, that is Ming's decision. Well, he's a senior Liberal yeah, Democrat. I, I understand that. We, we, we have our John Redwoods too. will vote too. against the school's policy too, I think. That's a, but but I, mean, I, I have Europe to say, yet. this is all going to come I mean, the important part of capital gains tax is this you is wish. what permits... No, I know, it's going to. Max we Stacey. need strong we, government. You should be very no, grateful. I'm not a strong government. You're already divided. Look at you. We're about to agree. A camel gets through the... A camel gets through the desert. <laughs> I'm very struck the number of people everywhere one goes. The terrific number of people want this to work, I mean, among the public. And it is very striking that all sorts of hard-nosed Tories and um, soft, wet Lib Dems have been saying, oh, isn't this marvellous? This is the way forward. This is the way it's going to be. Well, of course, now, it's the only way you can get power. Sure, 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 of course sure, you sure, do. Sure, sure. Um, Sorry, but really, but this is ridiculous. Personally, I've always felt since day one the idea of the Lib Dems, who are many issues, of the left of the Labour Party getting together with the Tories. Um, does seem inherently pretty weird. Now, actually, at the moment, um, your party